Welcome to Project Engineer, where every day we're building better project managers. This is our 10 part video series where we're covering the 10 knowledge areas that you need to know for project management. to another video with me, Sarah, a certified project manager. And in this video, we are covering procurement. Procurement simply means having agreements or buying things on your project. Procurement simply means purchasing or having external vendors or agreements on your project. It can be as simple as a purchase order or it can get complicated like cost reimbursable plus percentage of cost paid out. We're not gonna go very in depth into all the different kinds of contracts all we're going to do is what we've been doing in all the previous videos, which is covering the processes and the main outputs to those processes. In procurement, we have three processes, one in planning, one in executing, and one in monitoring and controlling. In planning, we have plan procurement management. That's our first process. And as you probably know by now, the main output is the procurement management plan. There's an array of other unique outputs to this process, such as procurement strategy, procurement statement of work, bid documents, make or buy decisions, source selection criteria, and even independent cost estimates. There are even more outputs, but let's leave it at that for now. The second process in procurement happens in executing, and that is conduct procurements. In this process, you're gonna use a new tool and technique called bidder conferences, where you want to have an output of your selected sellers and agreements. Finally, in monitoring and controlling, we have control procurements. The main output of this process is closed procurements. Here you wanna make sure that there's no outstanding claims or work to be done. That's it for procurement. We had three simple processes in plan procurement management. You've determined how you're gonna do procurements on the project, what you will procure, and who you're going to do procurement with, so your vendors and contractors. Then in control procurements, you've closed your agreements. All right, that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We have a lot more videos coming up and you will start to see the patterns emerge as we continue through the knowledge areas. If you wanna communicate with us, please go online to our website. You can find a page there to ask any questions or give feedback. You can also communicate with us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. And finally, if you want more information, since these videos are very high level, please go online, read the articles, or find one of our online courses to take. Also, if you're looking for project management software, you can go to our website and find Nebulome. It's free to start using. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next video.